Welcome back, Minion Squad! I'm Little Mia. Welcome back to another episode of Little Mia's Mukbangs. You guys, look at this. It is a feast of ultimate proportions. And this time, it's not an understatement. Because all of this, Justin just cooked hot right off of the stove, ready to go. I'm starving, and I cannot wait to dig into this. I'm not quite sure what went into everything, so as we go, I might have to ask Justin what's in it. So you guys, we want to give a big shout out to Latif's Inspired. All of this was inspired by Latif, and Justin created this because of all of the different inspirations that he's taken from his channel. And you guys, this is Latif's Inspired Coriander Fish Bangladeshi Style and potato cauliflower aloo gobi with rice. So you guys, I'm really excited to try this. I have been loving all of these different, very exotic flavors that I've not really tried before. And Justin is killing this game and I'm loving it. He is such an awesome cook, trying all these different spices and stuff like that. So what do you say guys? Should we get this party started? Let's dig in. Let's open this up and see what we've got in store. I have not even checked, so I'm not even quite sure. And I'm excited. Let's see, guys. I'm gonna open it, steam's gonna come right out. Ready? Oh my goodness, do you see the steam just swirling? Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna tilt this a little bit so you guys can see. <gasps> Look at that smoking right off of the stove, you guys. Mm. It smells amazing. Wow, and this right here is, you know, my all-time favorite, white rice, but it goes so perfect with this. You can even use basmati rice, but I just did this really quick with jasmine rice, and you guys, ready? Look at the smoke! Ah, I'm so excited! But we're gonna reserve the heat so that we eat a really hot meal. I'm ready to dig in. Justin's gonna help me out with this just because this is a special meal that he made inspired by Latif's and this is all from his recipe that I guess he serves at his restaurant. I'm excited. I'll let you know what I think of this and critique it. So let's see how it goes. So this is the fish, you guys. Tilapia whole fish. Oh my gosh, I have no idea what's in it, but you guys, there's some beautiful spices. And also check out the description below too. Oh my gosh, you guys. Don't even think for one second that this is not a mukbang of champions, you guys. Check this baby out. Oh my gosh, you guys. Are you seeing this? Oh, something just fell, that's okay. Are you seeing this? Look at the fish, whole tilapia. There's the cauliflower, broccoli, potato, and the aloo gobi. Coriander fish, there's tilapia, coriander, red peppers, and the aloo gobi. You got onions, ginger, garlic, tomatoes, potatoes. I also added some sweet potato and uh, cauliflower and a little mm. bit of broccoli. Yummy. 
And then in the coriander fish, you got tilapia, coriander, mustard seed, ginger, garlic, red pepper, lots of tomato paste. What I have here is lemonade to go with this awesome meal. There's spices and everything nice. And you guys, I don't even need any Thai chilies just because you know how it is. I always have Thai chilies with my food, but it's spicy enough where I don't even need it. So this right here is lemonade to just wash everything down. Cheers guys. And I just wanted to say thank you to all of our subscribers that have subscribed and is part of the Minion Squad. Thank you to all those that are newly subscribed as well. I see you and I appreciate you. Welcome. And you guys, if you haven't already, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Click on that bell notification so you're notified every time we put a video out next. And guys, be sure to share with friends and family. Cauliflower. Mm. So you guys, check out Latif's Inspired. He makes authentic Bangladeshi food and it is always on point. The fact that Justin is able to recreate this and it tastes pretty, pretty amazing. Mm. We served it over new crop, fragrant jasmine rice, but you can also use that's Matthew rice. Your preference, guys. Justin outdid himself. He asked me, what do you want to do for your mukbang? I said, I want to do something, you know, more simplified and just kind of take it easy. And he said, you know what? I think I'm going to do the fish. I'm like, what fish? <laughs> the tilapia with um, the Bangladeshi flavors with the potato and cauliflower, the aloe gobi. And I'm like, which one? He's like, the Latif's inspired one. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, we have to do that. Mmm. The peeps have to experience that. Guys, one for you. This is the cauliflower over here. Mmm. The flavor is just sing, you guys. It just sings. The tilapia was, I want to say pan seared, pan fried, and then it was put into this delicious sauce right here. Mmm, it's so creamy. I grew up in tilapia. I know it may not be everybody's favorite fish, but for me, I enjoy it. My mom did all sorts of different things with it. She deep fried it. She put it in soups and she would fry it up and then make a sauce for it, dump it on top and it would be just so delicious. So I grew up with it and it's just one of those just easy to cook fish. Mmm. Really reasonable price too. And I find the meat really soft. And delicious. <gasps> you guys, I found a chili. I found a chili. The flavors are all popping in my mouth. It's going from the herbs and the beautiful spices to then the kick that comes in. This is so delicious. So delicious. I love how the broccoli and cauliflower and tomato it's like it's its own side and it just goes so perfectly together just 
it's like a dance. It's just, it marinates and melts. Don't even ask me why I've got a spoon and a, a fork. One for this and one for that. Oh. Mm, rice. Mm. Mm. Justin outdid himself. The first time he did this tastes really good. Like really good first time I've ever had it. The second time, I'd have to say, tastes even better. Mm. So guys, how are you doing? How is everyone? I hope you all are doing good. I hope you're all taking care of yourself and enjoying kind of the cool air. Mmm. This one, guys, I'm not going to do much talking, but I always say that and then I am doing a lot of talking. I'm just going to enjoy the meal. Tilapia, rice, and the beautiful sauce. Mmm. So guys, be sure to check out Latif's Inspired. Check out all of his beautiful dishes. Check out all of the beautiful recipes that he's sharing with the public, with all of you. There's going to be a link in the description so you guys can check it out. He deserves all the love because these dishes, Justin's been knocking out of the ballpark, has been inspired by Latif's channel. Mm, mm. Mm. Here comes the sniffles. The chilies though, for me, it's just perfect. The kick is just perfect. It elevates the taste. It elevates the flavors. If I don't have chilies or I don't have hot sauce or spices or anything like that, food tastes a little bland to me. Maybe my palate shot. Mmm. <laughs> so you guys, I was saying that I was running out of my mom's chilies and I was a little bit sad. Well, finally, after a while, we were able to go visit them again and it's kind of great to catch up and see each other and the little one got to go and see his grandparents so that was a good thing and guys I'm stocked up again with chilies yes our freezer is full of chilies mm. so happy about that mm. yourselves busy and doing things you love and doing the best way you can with these times guys it's all about being in the moment and enjoying the time that you have with your loved ones mm. you guys I told you we would be doing more of these different types of dishes with exotic flavors and just pretty much traveling the globe and trying all these different cuisines and this nailed it Justin he's been in the kitchen and just killing it and it's really nice to be able to just enjoy the muffins guys Sometimes without having to worry about what I'm cooking and then trying to get everything ready and trying to get myself ready as well. It's a whole thing. And not to mention too, we actually do our own edits. We edit our videos. <laughs> it's in-house guys. Justin and I, we have our little fan too, our little one. He's the one that watches it to give us the confirmation if it's a go or if it's not a go. But. We do our own edits, we do our own thumbnails, we do Photoshop, we do Premiere, we cook the foods, we 
do the setup and we love it guys and we we do the graphics and everything else the music the sound effects and everything we add it all yeah it's a lot of work guys it's a labor of love guys um thank you so much to all those that comment down below as well appreciate your comments i love your comments it's so inspiring and it helps me to continue making these mukbangs and our channel is coming together and everything's just working out So I'm so grateful for that and I'm so grateful for you for tuning in and checking me out, checking us out to see what we're eating next and all the different dishes that we're serving up. Comment down below too guys and let me know what do you think about this awesome feast right here. Do you want to see more of the Teeps inspired dishes? Do you want Justin to just kill it with all of these exotic flavors? Let me know. Comment down below guys. Mm. you guys when you see that there's leftovers like this it's because when we make meals we make it for our family and we make it for the little guy as well so that the next day we can just relax and chill so what you see here is me being served what I was planning to eat for my mukbang and then the rest here gets put away for the next day for the fam so nothing goes to waste we make sure that we eat everything and we appreciate everything we're grateful for everything that we have food goes a long way so you guys check this out do you remember how big that plate was I have a little piece of tilapia left I'm gonna finish that and devour it but I just wanted to say thank you to all of you for joining with me once again for this awesome mukbang feast of champions. I'm so excited to continue eating this tilapia, but you guys, until we feast again, be sure to take care of yourselves. I'm little Mia. I love you guys. Peace.